So welcome to the women's sitting volleyball semi-final number two. We have Brazil up against the US going for a place in the final. The winner of this game will progress to the gold medal match. The losers, well, they will have to battle it out for the bronze medal. Here are the team from the US. Well, they've had a pretty good run through. Just one upset, and well, that was against China, the world's number one, where they came unstuck in their pool. Brazil, well, they've won three out of three. They're looking to make that four out of four. up now we're about to have the national anthems from both of the nations before the game will get underway Ladies and gentlemen, the anthem of the United States of America. Senhoras e senhores, o hino dos Estados Unidos da América. And now, the anthem of Brazil. E agora, o hino do Brasil. It's a special moment for both teams, having their anthem played out in front of them and the fans. A 
and certainly for Brazil, the home fans here will be spurring them on to see whether or not they can make it through to the final. This USA side, very successful Paralympic side, a bronze from 2000 and for a silver from London 2012. USA team in the picture getting ready for their introduction but before that we're going to make the referees in charge for this match the first referee is Adnan Kolos of Bosnia and Herzegovina the first referee from Bosnia and Herzegovina Adnan Kolos and the second referee from Rwanda so the second official from Rwanda is Eric Gadji introduced it'll be time to meet the players now, let's meet the team first the starting lineup for the united states of america in the usa Vamos coming out first so player number one laura webster will make her way onto court middle block as she's starting at position three which is middle front that's the lineup for the us number five katie holloway outside hitter will be starting at position two. Heather Erickson, number six, the captain, is at four. Number seven, Monique Berkland, will be starting at position five. And Kaleo Kanahale, number 14, another setter. He's uh, going to be starting at position one. Kinev's number 16 is at six. Olivero is Bedman is Zuma number two. Head coach is Bill Hameter. And here is the starting lineup for Brazil. Next on to court be Brazil. Huge draw for them as they come out. Starting with number three, Gisele de Costa Diaz, who's setting, starting at position one. Number four, Andrea Jesus da Silva, middle blocker, who is starting at position five. Number six, Camila Maria Luria de Castro, who's starting at position two. Natalie de Lima Silva, number seven, starting at position six. Yanni Freitas Batista, number nine, starting at position three. And Jenaina Petit Cunha, outside hitter, number ten, starting at position four. The libero is Eduardo de Oliveira, and the head coach is Jose Antonio Gedges. So, second referee will check the rotations, make sure everyone's where they need to be. That will allow the liberos to come in. is happy a signal to the first referee by raising both his hands in the air so giving the ball to the USA they'll get things underway So Brazil are playing in white, USA in blue. It's the USA to start serving in the second semi-final of women's sitting volleyball at Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Well, the first point goes straight to the US. Silver medalist four years ago in London. Behind China. Well, they want to go through and try to make amends this time round. But to do that, they're going to have to beat Brazil. It's going to be a tough competition in front of their home crowd. Okay, 
Katie Holloway to serve. 2 1. And that was a cracking serve. Jenny Ina of Brazil. Spike came down with some force. Well, the block by the US. Freeze. Give the point. 4 1. Very dominant start from the US. Frustration already showing on the Brazilian team. The timeout's been called. Scores 5 1, the USA. Block by the captain, Ericsson, number six. Six one now to the US, and Holloway continues to serve. A bit of a fumble at the back of the court. But Very nice spike from Gianni, finding the gap between the two blockers. USA unable to bring it back. Gianni with the serve. Looking for the touch off the USA, which has been given. Just pointing that out the fact that it came off Webster. Número 9 do Brasil, o nome dela, Jenny Freitas. Lifting call against Brazil as that ball was put away by the USA. Webster to serve at 7-3. Nice block at the net, but the point's been given to Brazil. Just see Nikoniev's getting her hands up, but not getting them across the net. And she makes that movement after to say, yeah, I should have got over the net, which would have sent the ball down. Landed in on the sideline. Block as well, so it didn't really matter where it had gone after that. As you said, touched it last. The USA will take a three-point lead. So the the ball first was called out as we go into first technical timeout. Eight-five to the US.
serve was blocked back brilliantly by Brazil. Camila 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 Nicely ducked by Ericsson. Well, it's very close to the sideline. The Lions judge saying that it didn't catch any of it. So USA it is who take the point. A carry is the call for the United States. So, number seven, Natalia of Brazil, accused of carrying, so point over to the US. Burton to continue serving. Nikki Nieves was there, ready to play the ball, just to get the contact she would have wanted. As a result, the ball couldn't be attacked by Kanahale. Holloway with an attempt at a spike came off. One of the Brazilian players went out into touch. Out of bounds. Out of play. There's certainly nowhere where Brazil were able to get it once it came off the block. Really good spike from the USA. A desperate attempt to try and keep the ball in play. To be point goes to Brazil. Well, that would have been an easy pickup for the USA. Gisele probably wishing she hadn't tried to get her hands on that ball. The ball hit the floor, half volley is not allowed. It's a cracking spike by the Brazilian. Takes him to nine. Twelve staying in contention in this opening set. Second semi final of the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. be coming back lovely work by the USA Casey Holloway putting the ball away That's gone out of play. And Katie Holloway will continue to serve. Brazil looking to get block out. They didn't catch anybody's fingers. 13-9. Nice block by Ericsson. Somehow manages to get it back again. This time out of play. So 14. Is that my eyes or did the score just jump to 15 9? It's a wonderful dig actually from Brazil to keep it in play, but it's another unforced error. And it's indeed 15 9. Just one point away potentially here from the second technical timeout if USA take the point, which they do. Great play from the captain, Heather Erickson. 16-9. The USA are in control of this first set as the teams go to the technical timeout.
69, the US are up. It's Holloway to serve. So carry called against Brazil. It was a good start for them in this set, but they just seem to have lost their way a little bit here. Great block, the ball appeared initially as if it was dug by the libero. But indeed it wasn't. It had hit the floor first, good spot from the ref. Just having a word for the Brazilian captain. So a yellow card has been given by the first referee. Not happy with whatever the coach has done. Normally you might see for a time delay if they were late getting onto the court, but it's obviously something that's been said by somebody. So a warning to Brazil. Any other infringement now would be a straight red. And they'll lose the point. And Katie Holloway ready to get proceedings underway again. USA are up 18 points to nine. That's indeed Edges who got the card. Seems to inspire Brazil on. That's a wonderful spike. Came off Kanaheli. Not much she could have done about that. Came down so quickly. An instinctive reaction to try and keep it in play. So Yanni of Brazil to serve. 10-18. Well, the block comes straight back down onto the US side of the courts. So that brings it to 11-18. Great point by Brazil. It's been given as a net touch, I think, by well, initially, the referee was see, has signalled the other way. Net touch against Brazil. They're having a little word with the ref as to why the decision went that way. So it is the USA, in fact, who take the point. Uh, I just want to check they're in the right rotation. They had moved around to go and serve, then to move back round again because they're still receiving. So Laura Webster to serve. 19-10. May well have been going long, but was kept in play by Brazil. And that time, the ball goes to ground by Ericsson. Great spike. Really good play from Brazil, keeping it in, keeping the rally going to start with, but it was the USA who came out on top. Beginning to find a way back. They've certainly got plenty of support from the crowd. Just try and get some rhythm going, some momentum going, where they can take a few more points 
on the banks and maybe put some pressure on the USA. Nicely left by Ericsson. And 10 points now, the deficit. It really is a bit of an uphill struggle for Brazil in this opening set in the semi final. Oh, they pulled one back. Nice swing from Natalie getting Natalie getting block out. And Tadria with the serve. Oh, a nice call by Bethany Zumo to leave. Communication on the court is so critical. We've got to know where each other are. Trust each other as well. And we've got a team and the experience of both of these two. Well, we're expecting a really good game. And Brazil in the block, 13 to 22. Still very much the USA set. Only three points for them required. Brazil with uh, Natalie serving will just look to try and get the, a few points, just get that little bit of momentum Natalie. that they can use going into the next set. Not great control that time by Duda, the libero in purple, sending it past her teammate. That was created by Holloway trying to put the ball into the gap, forcing the Brazilian defence out of position. See here, just puts it over the libero. That makes it difficult to play from. So Nicky Neves serving. 23-13. The antenna is out. So we're now up to 24-13, set point for the US. Well, there we are. There is your first set to the US of A. And they lead one set to nil. Wonderful blocking from the US. They've been dominating at the net. They finish the set off with a huge block. Confirmation of that first set score, 25-13. The USA will be really pleased with the way that they've got going. But Brazil, well, they're going to need to try and turn things around as the second set beckons. The statistics pretty much bear that out. Five blocks to one, equal in digs, one ace for the USA. Three serving errors from Brazil, not helping the cause.
to start the second set, the women's semi-final sitting volleyball. Well, we've got some moves going on court side. Nicely popped over the head of the defence. Just finds a little space. Look at that. Nicely rolled right onto the side of the court. Just about stays in. Well, that's enough to take the first point. Kalaheli to serve. Oh, as a rocket came down just then. Landed just inside the back line. to serve at one apiece. Nicely set up, took a deflection on the way out. The US will be given the point. All the way to serve. This time, the US unable to get the ball back. Brazil can celebrate leveling the score in the second set at two apiece. Some instructions coming from the coach on the sideline. It's fascinating watching coaches some involved with every point and every play and see the coach gets is getting really upset because the serve was missed but other coaches will just stand and watch and smile and not show their emotion personally I think that's a much better way to coach because if you're getting frustrated with the players and you're showing your anger and frustration then the players more worried about you as a coach or about the opposition they're playing they just need to be concentrating on the team they're playing and not have to worry about what the coach is thinking yeah, and clearly a distraction some of the players are still looking at the coach as the point was being played spike when well, it was dug out but it didn't go very far other than out of play so the scores three apiece Janina to serve and to bring Brazil up into the lead in the second set 4-3 Janina to serve again Gifted it back over the net. But there's the block. That's the problem that Brazil have. The USA very good blocking team. So just have to be wary of that. from the back row. Nicely dug out by Zumo, but it's not going to stay in play. Point goes to Brazil. The reactions have got to be so, so quick. Look at the speed it comes down. Zumo did what she could, but it wasn't enough. to serve at 5-4. Well, that was a bit of a wasted effort. Point goes straight over to the US. It's those kind of errors that Brazil cannot afford to give away. With Birkeland to serve. Goes up by the foot. Well, you can use any part of the body. Difficult to control though.
nicely blocked by Camilla from Brazil, but deflection takes it out of the court, and that's going to be another point now to the US. Camilla getting her hands up, but not across the net. So the ball has been called out Point to Brazil. Off the net, what a shame. So at 6 7, Italy is back serving. And skyrockets out of bounds. to forget about that one didn't quite get high enough above the ball to execute so Natalie to serve again seven apiece oh what a spike from Holloway defensive block had no chance there so technical timeout scores 8-7 US Second set, the US are up. 8 7, needs to serve. Oh, that may have been going long. But the Brazilians trying to defend it and bring it back into play. Well, that's just cost them the point. Let's have a look from this angle. Yeah, that maybe was going out of play. So, needs to serve again at 9 7. This time, the shot has gone out. So Brazil pull it back to within one point. Hands are up. It's gone over the defence. set from Brazil looked like a double touch it was going closer to the USA than it was to Brazil to get block out Janaina it was with the point so coach Gedges barking his orders at the team what he wants them to do at the net now well, lifting being called against the US Gotta make sure the pelvis stays in contact with the ground at all times. That infringement will cost them a point. Which is out to serve at 10 9. Better and better for Brazil now. As that ball has gone straight into the net, didn't catch the block. Yeah, 
as they sense in danger, call the timeout. Emotions are high from both camps right now. Both teams really desperately want to get through to the final and play for gold and silver. Neither want to be fighting for the bronze medal. So Giselle from Brazil still to serve. 11-9. Well, look at that for some recovery from Holloway. Nails the spike to the ground. swing from Janaina. It was into the block but then it went high enough and far enough that nobody from the USA could recover it. <laughs> Lovely blocking by Webster from the US. And within one point, this is a very, very tight set. Well, the block this time has managed to get through and find a gap. So Brazil up by two. Down by one set. To zero. Great block from Janaina. Read that one, took away the power angle. Birkeland this time putting the ball down for the USA. Webster, 12 13. Well, the spike didn't get through cleanly, deflected off the block, but went to ground. And that's all that matters. 13 apiece now in the second set. Nicely by Adria. Just enough to pop it back onto the US side of the net. They didn't expect to see that coming back so quickly, did they? Janaina has been really good for Brazil so far. That was a wonderful spike. Erickson, the captain for the USA, made sure that one didn't come back. Giselle just unable to get her hands underneath to dig it back. Yeah. This time the USA is blocked holding firm. So the point has been given to Brazil for two touches, double touch. 
by the US, well, these errors happen. Brazil really on fire in this second set. Just, well, there's going to be one point in it going into the technical timeout off the back of this next point. Brazil making a change. And uh, it's going to be Paula coming in to serve. As Adria makes room. Still in play. I thought that had gone to ground. Obviously not. Should have done well to keep this ball alive. Excellent defending by the USA. Keeping the rally going. Just when they needed it. A lovely roll shot just over the top of the block and away from Brazil's defence. USA's head coach Bill Hammers are talking about in system and what he means by that is when things are going right so in other words when the ball is passed into the setter and they're able to run all the attacks they want they're in system if it's not a great pass and there's only one option on or it's a, an option that they wouldn't normally play they suddenly find themselves out of system and then you have to play the game very differently when you're out of system you have to be a lot smarter because the ball's not in a good place where you'd want to expect to hit it so you have to be smart about what you're doing and being aware of then how you approach the play and what you're saying is just don't go up and swing on the ball be aware of whether you're in or out of system and then making sure that when they're in system they stick to their game plan Burkman serving and then... Well, that's such a shame because that's been given as a lift in the USA claiming, well, I've dived for the ball. And she said, I've slid to go in after the ball. And in other words, saying she kept her, her, her hand on the floor as she went for it, but the referee was having none of it. And it was a nice play. The referee said it was lifting. However, it doesn't really bother the US at unforced error from the serving line USA with a two-point lead and I'll be pretty happy with that and on the balance of play in this second set because Brazil really have played well the USA was still in front well, needs to serve Webster has just joined the party again it's a great serve from Neves by surprise, timeout caught by Brazil. Antonio Gejizzi certainly is a passionate coach. He's really 
putting his points across. I'm afraid my Portuguese is not too great, but I think it was something along the lines of, come on, let's get out there. Let's go, girls. Sometimes it just could be as simple as that. They're playing the game plan. It's just a couple of unforced errors here and there. And Kovacic just go out, let's keep playing. Let's try and cut those errors out and see how we go. But that is a massive block from the USA and a very nice celebration to go with it. Looking a little bit forlorn for Brazil. Twenty sixteen needs to serve. Wow, oh, great serve! Nice, nicely aced. Brazil unable to return. The angle was lovely. Not helped by the fact that uh, it was touched at the net by Brazil, taking it away from the passer. Substitution then, Latana coming in, and out goes Gianni. Neves at the moment just picking her spots from the serving line as to where she wants to put the ball. This time going towards the other sideline, Janina. Well, two touches, I think. It's been awarded against Brazil. So the score now, 22-16 US, and another timeout has been called. No more timeouts left for Brazil now in this set. So 22 plays 16, leaves to serve. from Neves, blasted that serve long and high. Just the extra delay, there was the timeout and then the reversal of the substitution by Brazil. And he was just losing the concentration. And that doesn't help matters either as that ball hasn't caught the block as it's gone out. And Brazil, with a couple of quick points, getting themselves back into this set. Which is out to serve, 18-22. Well, off the block, there's nobody else to keep it in touch after Holloway's tried to. If the USA don't side this one out, I wouldn't be surprised if they call a timeout. hit the net but it's gone long so it's point for Brazil and indeed USA have called the timeout team looks more psyched to you well right now Brazil coming into this one as the underdogs 
with the crowd behind them just playing their volleyball and if anything it's the USA who coming in well, they're just beginning to feel a little bit of the pressure at the moment particularly with Brazil coming back into this so the timeout from uh, Bill Hamiter was wise that just need to settle themselves down but and somehow they've managed to do it a little cheeky volley over the net has given them the point and you can just see when how the dynamic of the team changes suddenly they were all smiles then from everybody and a little bit of a relief so okay we got a point we're now getting closer to taking the set but it's certainly not a good mind frame as mindset to have when you're playing like this it's not a case of oh we've got ourselves another point we're getting closer to taking a set they shouldn't even be thinking about the points where they are they should just be playing and if they're totally focused then they won't even realize that the set's been in, and won in those situations if they're focused but they do have set point now double hit by the Brazilians on that previous point has gifted them the set point well it's almost like they took the first set a bit too comfortably taking their foot off the gas well here they are trying to serve for the second set well not to be on this point Brazil claw one back Brazil need step up now if they're going to try and save this set so set point again to the US Brazil to serve oh, well, that was a lovely ace right into the back corner there was nobody there to cover they save another one 22 plays 24 second set no timeouts left for the USA either. They're going to have to try and get this job one done, get their side out. But it doesn't happen. 23-24. Brazil are psyched. Well, Brazil are psyched. And the US are under pressure. Body language says it all. So substitution. Schiffler comes in. Last chance to get this done in regulation for the USA. If it goes to 20 for all, first to get two clear will take it. Who's it gone off the block? No, it hasn't. Well, the USA thought that had gone into the block and hit the antenna. The referees say otherwise and have given it as an error against the USA. It is now 20 for all. What did Ericsson do? Oh, she put it right into the antenna first. Unforced error from the USA. Brazil have leveled. That, though, has gone off the block this time. Well, the luxury of being able to win the set from side out has gone for the USA. Both teams now will have to win a point from service. The USA, they'd only require the one point, but for Brazil, they'll need to win two points from service. Well, it's gone now to 25 apiece. Well, this is so, so close, and both teams really bring in their A game when it matters. It's called as a carry. That looked more like a volley or a, than a carry. However, it is Brazil that take the point. But the situation's the same. USA side out. They have set point. They need to score one. Brazil need to score a point from this, then go back and do it again. Well, that was amazing. Really good serve that put USA under pressure. Look at the celebrations because now it's set point for Brazil, their first set point. They have turned this one around. The desperation, trying to get the ball back. And it's starting to become just a little scrappy. 26 apiece. Webster to serve. 
it is advantage Brazil because they are now siding out for set point as Webster settles herself to serve. Oh, brilliant. Well, under pressure, the best can do it when it matters, and that was absolute brilliant from Webster. Serving an ace, a very, very critical time. This could be the turning point in the game if she can do something similar. Well, no double touch call. Amateur not too happy with that. Well, that's gone long. Well, the lines judge gave that as coming off the block. Referees ignored it. It's the USA who take the set 28-26, and they now lead by two sets to nothing. Did it catch a block? Oh, it didn't. There's a massive net touch as well from Brazil. I'm not on earth sure why the lines judge was signaling for any kind of touch, because it was Brazil who touched the net. That's what it means to the USA. Confirmation then of the set scores 25 13, 28 26. United States weathering that storm from Brazil in set two. How are Brazil going to respond now as the teams get ready for set number three? As we have a look at the statistics. USA just edging it in spikes, one back in blocks, more digs, more aces, and less service faults. That's the reason behind USA leading 2 0 and taking that second set here are the highlights. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to do another wave, but not just one wave, Galera, two waves. Galera, Atistal Galera, para hora da ola, vamos fazer uma ola, seguida uma segunda ola, duas olas, same time. The first one, we start here, we go, oh, and when it gets there, duas ola, oh, good. Galera, beleza, let's try, here we go, here we go. Tres, tres, um, five. Trace, trace, ooh, five! It's so semi-final number two in the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Sitting volleyball is what we're watching. Just beginning. Set number three. First point to Brazil. They're two sets down. Can they turn the match around now? Psychologically, it's going to be interesting to see how they do respond from losing the last set, 26-28 having saved so many set points against them, then having a set point themselves and failing to take it before allowing the USA 
to walk away and take that second set. Well, there's a good response so far. 2-0 up, double touch given against the USA. Though the USA took the last set, they still seem to be a little bit shaky. Wow, nice dig by er Ericsson, followed by a nice spike from her. Took the deflection on the way out. That's what the captain needs to do, lead by example. The net touch against Brazil. And in fact, the referee's decided to go with it, playing the ball on the wrong side of the net option. delicate touch from Brazil just pops it over the net with a bit of an angle gets it into the corner just away from the block just lands on the line so Yanni to serve at 4-2 cover that. Shouts of cover from the USA as the ball went out for the spike. No need to worry. As Ericsson hammered it off the block and away. Zumo for the US is off. Neves is on. Webster to serve. 3 5. Oh, lovely cover. What a point. It's been given to the USA, as having come off the block. Of, of, uh, sorry, it's been given to Brazil, having come off the block of the USA. The first shouts were that that had gone out. The USA all thought it had gone out, but it caught the block. Geniani with the serve. Brazil keeping themselves in front in this third set. touch against the USA not very happy with the setting at the moment from Brazil Gisele going with a lot of one-handed sets so he felt that the last one was a catch well, Era from Zumo there unable to dig she's just apologizing to the rest of the team no need to apologize this is a team effort 8-3 Brazil.
So Janina to start the serve now. 8-3. Brazil are up. Well, but they've just thrown one point away. So 4-8 now. That went out off the block. So the positioning of the US player as well. We see this fairly often. This is to try and obstruct the view for the Brazilians. Well, whatever they're doing is working. They pulled another point back now. It's a mix of trying to get into their positions pretty quickly because they have to be in rotation. So it just so happens on this rotation they're all lined up and it means the captain can serve straight over the top of five players, making it a little bit tricky for the other team to see. And it's working at the moment because that's two points. It's crazy how quickly momentum can swing from one team to another. Only a few minutes to go. Brazil were really in the mix and winning point after point and it's just turned again. Brazil call the time out. It was a great block by Neve. just popped the ball down, only just the other side of the net. Well, it was enough, just stayed in court. So, so yeah, Paula comes back in now, Adria's gone out, he's still just trying to slow things down here and stop the USA from getting any more points because they're one away from levelling and they oh, very nearly have somehow Brazil keep it going oh what a dig that was what a spike though from Brazil amazing play wow. and it needed something special because the USA were getting right back into the set well, Holloway dug that from nowhere immense reactions just couldn't quite control where it went and we've got a game on our hands right now in this third set of the women's semi-finals. Neves tried to go block out first time, was denied, but there was no denying it the second time of asking. Getting the better of Giselle, small blocker for Brazil. So Birkland's a serve, was blocked well. That's well, been given as a touch by the line judge, but quite clearly the ball going out. If anything, Brazil made a net touch as they hit the ball. So the referee quite rightly ignoring the Lions judge's call. Zuma did well to keep that in for the US. Well, what a reach. How did she get to that? And she was shouting, come on, come on, come on, somebody get to it. She placed herself brilliantly just on the outside of the block down the line. And then as the ball came back right between two players, they weren't able to control it. So Birkeland serving at 10-9. The 
US right back in this third set. We had a minor blip at the start. Brazil now on the back foot, trying to play catch up. This is some turnaround for the USA. It looked as if that Brazil were going to be taking this set the way that it started. Zuma. Still might. Yeah, Zuma comes flying in there to try and get her hands underneath. And dig that ball from nowhere, couldn't quite get to it this time. So Natalie to serve, 10-11. It's been given against Brazil, the referee pointing the USA's way and saying that Camilla played that ball on the side of the USA. Good defence. Uh, was it on their side? The referee said it was on the US's side, so that's the end of the matter. They take another point. Really good pick up that from Neves. One handed, keeping it in play. Holloway starting to come into her own as well here. Spike after spike, and eventually they go to ground. Brazil's problem at the moment against some of these uh, USA players is they've got a good high contact of the ball when they're spiking. So Brazil are putting their hands up as high as they can which is leaving a gap between their hands and the net, so the ball is coming down their own side. More problems here for Brazil. Trying to spin that down the line, but overcutting it. And once again, Niem's having a good serving run. She did it in the last set. She's doing it here in this one. Well, that was a rocket that came down, wasn't it? Great spike from Brazil, brings them back to within three points. Just out it is, who goes back to serve now. Marking out the instructions to her teammates. Catching the antenna as it came across, so out of play by Janaina and a point to the USA. Oh. I've been accused of lifting then as well. Hips definitely off the floor. Kind of heavy to serve. Well, carrying, given against Brazil, a technical timeout. It's now been called. Well, that's a strange call. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome some of the teams that are here from the other teams watching the match tonight. at the statistics so far USA with more blocks more digs more aces less service faults and it all adds up and they've done very well to get themselves five points up what they don't want to allow to happen is what happened in the last set where they had four set points and only to let them slip and actually end up having to save a set point themselves before turning it around again Changes coming for Brazil. Off goes number nine, Gianni, and in comes number 12, Nayana. What a way.
way to keep the ball off the floor. Brazil working so hard and getting their reward. Well, that was some effort from Ericsson, really swung at it. Put a lot of power into that spike and got the deflection. That's what happens when you just put your hands straight up in the air as a blocker. You just become a springboard for the ball to go off and out. Looking for the block, not being given. and Well, a little bit of disgust from Brazil, in particular Paula, who just raises a hand to say oh that caught the block didn't look like it caught any block in the slow motion so brazil called timeout trailing by six All the way to serve, 18-12 US. In the third set, two sets to nil. Kanahale kind of went for it, then moved out of the way, because she's the setter, realizing she wanted Zuma to play the ball to her, but Zuma was thinking, oh, Kanahale's got this. So a little bit of confusion for the USA. Is he kind of going back and then that really put Zumo off playing it? Well, that looked like a bit of a throw from Brazil, but they get away with it. We'll call it a windmill. Diana to serve, 14-18. Carry given against Brazil as they tried to play that ball. It was outside the antenna, having to bring it back and stayed in contact with the ball for too long as it was brought back into play. Webster at the surface. well left only just out but the Brazilians did well to communicate to leave four-point game Janaina to serve 15-19 Great blocking from the USA. Really good pickup as well in that rally, particularly from Neves. And then USA backing it up with a huge block. Paula to serve for Brazil, 16-20. Just taking her time, trying to slow the game down. And 
that one out. And that's a, an error that she didn't want to give away. Free point to the US. Now within touching distance, taking this third set and the match just four points away. Nicole Milaj coming in to serve for the US. Oh, just pushed out of touch. Well, going beyond that baseline. All the way. It's not a normal error that we'd see from her. Snatching at the ball and had more power than she realised. Substitution is going to be reversed. Birkeland coming back in. Large going on. Well, that's a good play from the USA. Reverse set to Neves, and realizing that Giselle for Brazil was on that side, so the shortest blocker was available to be hit over the top of. Clever play from the US. Well, that one's gone long, very long. And Brazil complaining, believing that ball had come off the block and away. It's not been given. Believing or hoping? 23-17, just two points away from a potential victory here. Neves to serve. Holloway trying to go for a steep angle, and then in that case, when the hands are, are up high, the ball's going to come back down very quickly. She'd have gone into the hands, aiming a little bit uh, deeper. They will have had more success. Nice blocking, though, by Brazil. A great cover by Birkeland. Keeps it, keeps it in play. This time, the spike from Holloway finds the ground. Wonderful setting by Kanahale to get that out to Holloway, and she gets it off the block into the antenna, and it's now match point for the USA. Well, they have six of them. Surely they can convert one. Well, there it is. Victory to the US, they progress and advance into the final. Tremendous result here, taking Brazil down three sets to zero. The celebrations, well, they will be temporary. They're going to have to refocus very quickly. A disappointment for Brazil, but there's still an opportunity to get on the podium as they will be battling for bronze. Coaches have a little uh, chat and uh, wish each other well for the next games. It's the USA who will be guaranteed a medal, but will it be silver or will it be gold? That all remains to be seen. What we have seen here, though, is great resilience from the USA and their ability to come back after being taken to the brink of losing a set by Brazil and then going down in the third, but coming back to take it 25 to 18. Brazil will need to go back to the drawing board, have a look at the video and work out their tactics ahead of their bronze medal match. The USA will be doing the same once their celebrations have finished. And they look at what they will need to do in order to try and take a gold medal. A little bit too much for Paula of Brazil. And a 
42 years of age. This is probably going to be, I'm assuming, our last Paralympics. It means so much. And we still have that opportunity, as you said, for the medal. to Brazil they gave it their all it could have been different perhaps if they'd have taken that second set who knows then what may have happened but as it is it's the USA who have done it confirmation of the result the United States beating Brazil 3-0 25-13 28-26 25-18 the United States through to the gold medal match Brazil will be playing for bronze Looking at the match statistics, the USA was just three service faults in the entire game. Really good, solid serving from them. Double the aces, a few more digs, more blocks, and more efficient with the spikes. <laughs> 